Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to have you here today. We've got something really exciting lined up, and I can't wait to dive into it with you. So in this short video, uh, somebody asked me how to install Windows XP. And now I can't just show this in one video, like how to fully set up everything up, because it would take hours even like the rendering and stuff, so I'm just gonna make everything separate, but add those other videos in the description. The links to the videos. I already made a tutorial how to do it from the CD, but we're doing Gears B now. So, you can't just use Rufus of uh, the self-reforming keyboardable USBs to do this. Uh, Rufus requires at least Windows Vista. If you make a Windows XP portable USB, it's not gonna work. So, there's this out of term uh, called Win Setup from USB. Uh, it's actually really nice software. I used it multiple times. It always worked for me. So, what you gotta do is to just download. You'll have a link in the description to the program. And we'll just we'll just wait for it to download. We'll click there. We'll go downloads, but there you go. We set up from nearest V. We'll just extract it there. Ah, uh, now we can just close Firefox. Uh, uh we'll go into the. So uh, you just gotta run the one that your operating system has, I have a 64 windows, you probably have two. So here it is, so... Uh, first, you got insert the USB. I'm gonna got this 32 gigabyte USB, but you can use even like, uh, I think even one gigabyte USB would work with this. Windows XP is like 600 megabytes in size. All right, I have Windows 10 on here, but that doesn't matter. Well, uh, auto format, Motoscape as is, and now we'll check Windows 1000 x 5000 free setup. Uh, you can actually put multiple um, windows like ISOs in here. You don't have to just put you 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 don't have to put only one. You can put like Windows 10 as well, uh, or Windows 7, whatever. But in this way, I'm just gonna shut out to boot Windows XP from USB. Uh, uh, let me just find the ISO. So it's on the desktop, Windows XP tools, ISO. All right, forgot to mention this. I didn't scrape this video. So you gotta go into the folder and you gotta uh, use either WinRAR or 7-zip to extract the files, but archive. So you gotta make a folder and name it um, when he goes XP SP3 HZI You can call it whatever you want We'll go into the folder We'll select everything I'll just do uh, Like this And I'll just drag it into here And it will extract everything Basically you just have to extract the files and now we'll go back into one setup from USB. We'll uh, press this, click that, click that, and just keep it in here and select folder. All right, so I accept. Uh, we'll be using NTFS actually. I uh, will be using NTFS because it said that. I'm basically showing you what would happen to you uh, when you try to do this. So you gotta set NZFS and auto format. This ISO, well, whatever one you use, you just gotta make sure it, it, your, your computer can boot from it. Uh, I just recommend the one I showed you before because it will most likely work. And what you'll do, go. It, everything will be erased. Sure. And now we just gotta wait.
All right, so it's done. <clears throat> so it's nice to copy the old files needed. We can just close everything out. I forgot to close that window, but it doesn't matter. Now we have to switch to my phone camera so I can show you how to use this because I can't do this in a virtual machine. Alright, so I've plugged with USB in and now we can power on the computer. And because you, if your computer has USB booting, you can probably also just use the boot menu. Usually it's F12, but for example on heat peak computers it's F9. But for it's F12, so there we go. These step-by-step -step instructions are quite straightforward. Simply follow what I've been doing and you'll be set. Also, I want to remind you that Windows XP is quite an old system, so you'll need to have a lot of patience during the process. The setup is now copying files. Please wait and feel free to grab some coffee or a snack if you like. And we're done. I will just press enter. And now what you gotta do, once the computer restarts, you gotta go back to the boot menu, and we gotta go from the USB. Today we've reached an exciting milestone. We've just successfully installed Windows XP on our system. If you've been following our series, you know we've been through quite a journey together. From preparing our computer for installation to navigating through the setup process, it's been a great learning experience. Now all that's left to do is a simple step. Just press the ESC button on your keyboard. Pressing ESC will finalize our installation. After that, Windows XP will guide us through a few final steps to ensure everything is set up correctly. As you can see, Windows is now booting up. This might take a few moments, so be patient. Here we are at the setup wizard. It's going to ask us a few basic questions like setting up your time zone, creating user accounts, and a few other preferences. I'll go through each of these steps one by one. It's pretty straightforward, but if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And there we have it. Windows XP is now fully installed and set up. Congratulations on successfully installing one of the most iconic operating systems. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Comment your thoughts below. Hit the bell for notifications. See you next time.